Ah, the flower of life fully unlocked it has been. I am Thoth, its 19th reincarnation. But before we begin, I'll automatically assume you have read the Emerald Tablets and want to just a little bit more, and have read the Bible's book of Revelation and are dearly awaiting your Savior. Because those two books mention key parts for Flower of Life. This will be brand new information, and we will expand upon it in 13 chapters that God's read. Preface. Before we begin the table of contents, there's an active war on consciousness, and we are the heroes of it. We expand our consciousness beyond the gates that they put on top of us. The grid patterns in the sky. Even if you dare to look up, your consciousness bounces back to the prison planet. But we expand our consciousness beyond the skies, beyond the infinite cosmos. All chapters are in consequential order and should not be skipped as each supplements the next and will otherwise cause confusion. We will have chapter one, the flower board and the perfect flower, the image of God. Chapter two, four living creatures, the lords of Amenti. Chapter three, precision, accuracy, punctuality, and perfection protocol. Chapter four, seed of life. Chapter five, tree patterns. Chapter six, animals and insects. Chapter seven, humans and apes. Chapter eight, aliens. Chapter nine, combos for greater miracles. Chapter 10, Dendera Light Triple and Quad OG Combos. Chapter 11, Anki, we'll go all about that. Chapter 12, Scepter Rabbit Wave, Hieroglyphic. Chapter 13, Dark Matter and Dark Energy. Lastly, the whole thing that makes this fit together, the laws of physics themselves. The true manifestation, how to talk in the language of the cosmos. Chapter 1, Ah, the Flower of Life Board. How to grab the cosmos by the buttocks. How to squeeze the essence out of the universes. The flower of life board is a part of the greater subconscious. It spawned all life and gave us the greater conscious to the free will. With this ability, we can invoke pure life patterns on the flower board and manifest the life force. All level two life patterns right before completion look the same right before the infinity blast. But how the energy rises in the patterns it spring loads different life force. We will go over the core patterns and will learn how to build any of 300 plus patterns that make up the life light spectrum. The spectrum of patterns where light makes all life in the universe. This is the image of the living God that life goes through before coming into existence. All life spawns in eggs, the planets are eggs and have set conditions for spawned life to adjust to. When we invoke the patterns, we invoke them in our egg of a mind. Applying consciousness, we can stir up the infinity to our own liking, but the underlying egg, our mind we can't change, other creatures with free will when are invoking the same pure life patterns have different effects, because the egg is adjusting it on its own. But they too can apply consciousness to stir up the patterns to their own liking, wish, and pleasure. Chapter 2. Book of Revelation. In its chapter four mentions the four living creatures. These four creatures are parts that any of the 300 plus patterns are built with. Life light spectrum uses six combinations of the four living creatures to build a whole pattern for life. This is the first living creature in form of a lion. This is the second living creature in form of an eagle. This is the third living creature in form of an ox. And this is the fourth living creature in form of a man. Emerald tablets call them Lords of Amenti and give them numbers in the name. There are Lords three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and the book only mentions the Lord nine, but there is also a Lord 10. This is the Lord nine and 10. This pattern part has nine curves, but if we begin the pattern with any of parts, we add one at the beginning, turning this specific piece into a 10 curve part. The book of Revelation in chapter 4 also mentions the 24 elders. The flower of life patterns have 12 parts in the core, six around it and six on the outside where light takes its flow. But there are other parts for the flower of life not mentioned with 24 elders like the first, subconscious infinity at number one, the ending conscious infinity at number 33, and also number 32, the subconscious curve that bridges both infinities together. I didn't find it. The Bible, you know, chapter 3, PPP, Precision, Accuracy, Punctuality, and Perfection Protocol, or PPP, 
for short. We are seeing the perfect flower at all times during training. We're drawing perfect curves. We are punctual. Whatever we do, the flower comes out perfect no matter what. You should naturally feel when you did it wrong and have a trigger every time on every step. You set up your own OCD for the flower or if you have OCD, you can more naturally gain neural triggers for change. Accuracy. When we draw the patterns, we are drawing for accuracy from point to point. Even if we miss, did we miss? Trigger should occur. You should have an active feedback for accuracy. Even if it felt accurate, our mind is set to seek for accuracy too. Precision, we are hitting it right on the line. Our goal is to replicate the perfect flower. Energy shakes, it stutters, rips apart, but pop sticks it back together. We're replicating the perfect flower even when it is all over the place. And with that, we force a mistake trigger in mind every time we channel light until it is truly perfect. Then in sleep, our subconscious readjusts the mistake. It takes in all cues, what we were drawing, where we strive for, what was the path and the goal. Then it rewires for it to improve each time we wake up until one day it's perfect. But while training it is perfect from day one and every day, because we apply PPAPPP each time we practice the flower. We don't trick ourselves by saying we're doing it perfect, but we are creating the perfect flower. Lesser subconscious is oblivious to flower of life. It's a simple-minded prick that needs to be steered for pop-pop. It will not in its own adjust so you can invoke the cosmos better. There is no flower of life skill in the subconscious that you can just grind up by training carelessly. You set it up with free will in the protocol. What it's not oblivious to are the cues you give it. If you just channel and train like a joke, it will improve for that. PAPP is a measurement punishment system with which we win day one and every day. Day one, attempt one, we did it. Let your subconscious test you in sleep. Give it the test and it will give results. PAPPP is a mouthful and a try hard but in practice should come out as a yes-no light on light-off simple trigger system. You want to be flickering like a Christmas tree each step of the way through the life patterns on flower board. Chapter 4. A de creme de la creme, the seed of life. We will invoke our first pattern. Warning. When you draw the first ever flower pattern, you are popping your cherry and can never re-experience it again. I miss my newbie days. Seed of life is the only level one pattern. All other patterns are level two. There are no level three patterns. On flower board to train, those create the universe, the planets themselves as a life form. We can't invoke level three patterns. We can tap the sun, but not create it. Seed of life has 19 curves as is built with the first living creature six times. After which you choose the type of life force you want the seed to manifest. Curve 20 can curl into curve 21 infinity to tap the plant life force, or it can cross curve into infinity and invoke mushroom life force. Plants and mushrooms are made on our planet's egg. With other conditions, these two life forces would create life differently. By chance, a giant mushroom planet where it kills all other life, only mushrooms that don't even look like our familiar mushrooms grow on that planet. Infinite cosmos has infinite planet eggs for that to be possible. On our planet, that life force grows mushrooms known to us, but invoking the pattern we manifest, the pure life force of mushroom creation. Same with the plant life force on this pattern. This life force will mildly heal you if you invoke all 21 curves to infinity. But mushroom pattern has more healing power because it cross curves and goes opposite direction on infinity than it started at step one, giving the pattern more energy while the plant pattern curl curves linearly into infinity, the same direction it started. Chapter five, first level two pattern is the tree tree pattern goes linearly around the flower board, just like the seed of life, but is built with the second living creature six times curl curving all around. It has 33 steps. At step 31, we have drawn all six living creatures. And again, we have a choice to curl or cross curve into infinity on step 32. If we curl a linear tree pattern, we manifest the tree life force. But cross-curving step 32, it blows the pattern other direction at infinity and creates life force of the bushes. Actual trees are stronger than bushes, but the energy pattern when invoked, 
The Bush Life Force Grants More Healing Because of Complexity Chapter 6 There is only one tree pattern while animals and insects have a plethora of patterns that create their life force for each group of animals and insects. The moment a flower pattern goes a bit more complex than the tree pattern it creates our own familiar live life. Trees are animals too by the essence, but their pattern made them magical differently. This is a pattern for cats. And this one is for snakes. Snake pattern has most life force if invoked. Also, it attracts snakes and you can roleplay Medusa. If you keep invoking the snake pattern, snakes will crawl up to the source, your head, and sit there like you are its creator. Each animal pattern charms the beast that was built by that pattern. You can talk to animals like the creator. You can heal with any life force, but healing amounts are determined by pattern's energy. While to charm an animal, you need to match its pattern that made it. There are over 300 patterns for all animals on Earth. We use the four living creatures six times to reach infinity, 33 correctly on the flower board with cross, and curl curving them together. 18 curves. In the middle, we draw through once in the six egg parts around, we go over twice as the rule set. Then curve 31 comes back in the middle and it can cross or curl curve into infinity adding another switch and complexity to the life force. Chapter 7. Humans and apes are built with same combination of living creatures. But at curve 32 human, pattern curls into the head part of the nine-curve living creature, giving us free will infinity, whereas for apes, curve 32 cross curves into the body part, giving them the infinity in the body. It also makes them hunched over due to infinity blasting from the body up, while our blast top down. That last curve 32 before infinity is very important and changes the life it creates greatly. But by essence, monkey are built on a more complex pattern so they can fly in between trees with their bodies while we struggle with our brains to compete with their infinity. What they can do with bodies, we should be able to do with our minds. Human pattern gives us free will. It draws a mind in a mind by a mind the greater consciousness. This is the human pattern. If you switch curve 32 to a cross curve, you invoke more life force. But our life force, because of the free will it creates, can be used for a greater extent while it will heal less than an ape pattern. Life force is not only healing, but the life it creates. Two, cosmos gave us free will, and with the free will pattern, we can achieve free will control of the cosmos, sort of becoming a true conscious extension of the greater subconscious, like an autonomous child that evolves and can control its thought now. Chapter 8. Not saying it's aliens, but there are no higher life patterns than the one that gives a body with a free will, how life spawns on other eggs, will not change that it is built by the same life force. So aliens have the same life pattern as humans. At the right conditions on a planet, it will produce very similar creatures, with a similar free will infinity that blasted in their minds. How their subconscious evolved and is driving them is different but they all can invoke the flower patterns just as we do. How our planet is, we are not the peak organism vessel. To carry free will ability, other eggs must have produced something greater than us. Chapter 9. Combining light, just how we combine the four living creatures. To create a pattern, we can combine patterns with patterns, seed of life. When it's at curve 19, we can also draw a new pattern from there instead of closing the infinity at curve 20, 21. Curve 20, we can curl or cross curve, start a new pattern for greater miracles. How to turn water to wine. We invoke the seed of life in 19 curves. Then we draw a tree out of the seed by cross, curving a tree pattern on top of the seed. Then we add 32 curves on top of 19 and complete a longer pattern. This combination allows us to bear the fruit. With consciousness thought applied, we can stir up what kind of fruit we want. Else we just invoke the pure life force. While at a bowl of water, we finger the water as we invoke the pattern combo. Because energy goes through us, we want our gaze on the water and thoughts of sour grapes, sour grape juice. Invoking a perfect combination will allow a miracle to occur where you give the water the life force you generated and each molecule will start popping eggs of life with the pattern you invoked. You can't do this by accident, you have to be really into it. In total, it's 52 curves, so it's a level three pattern in a sense, 
like two colors next to each other would, make it a greater color. Chapter 10. Dendera Light Triple and Quad OG Combos. You can combine even more. There is also a three-pattern combination in a Quad 111 Curve Combo that makes you go in mono when invoked perfectly. Triple OG Combo. Light can be so strong it shoots out from you. Combining patterns makes them go up a magnitude with three pattern combo you can do resurrections, wound healing. Our triple OG has 81 curves. You start with seed of life, 19 curves, then add a pattern of tree, tree, pattern. We're not finishing infinity, so we add 30 curves. Then we're back at the middle and we crossed curve another pattern from there. That will finish all 32 curves. We added number one only at the beginning. When we add another pattern from the middle, we no longer count that one. We are not sliding in more infinities. We have one below and one above. So in total, 19 plus 30 plus 32 curves, making a perfect square of 81 curves. Preferably the third pattern is the snake because it has most life force in the pattern so we can gain the most jolt out of the triple OG combo. While quad OG, your light is so strong it creates matter, you will not be printing blocks of gold, but create it nonetheless. Quad OG, you don't use for healing purposes, but more to be the creator. Quad OG has 111 curves, the below infinity at number one and the above infinity at 111. There are no combos above 111 curves, such as adding another pattern making it 141 curves. Because we exhausted the life force, we already went from a seed to a tree to an animal to a free will infinity. There is nothing higher, else for a five pattern combo, we have to not finish the fourth pattern, meaning it does not produce free will. Infinity meaning it stays as an animal curve and we have two animal patterns in one, which will nullify it. Anything higher above creation of matter destroys it, so the invocation cancels out. Light needs to rise through the pattern. Quad OG is the highest magnitude and it creates matter. So just how we turn water to wine, we can spawn in water droplets, the life force of a quad pattern, apply consciousness and turn water to gold. Tree patterns bears fruit, but there is no pattern to build matter itself. We stir up the life force with thought, but can't stir up any pattern to do anything we want. We can manipulate the life force, but can't make it do anything, like just a two pattern combo to achieve all purposes. Chapter 11. The Ankh is an instrument. We use the Ankh to substitute for the flower board. We can invoke a flower on top of an Ankh. Invocations are successful if you finish the bridge curve from the center of Ankh going up one side of the loop and starting the infinite circle at the top. Loop of the Ankh needs to be perfect, so light can be guided over it like on the flower board. Shaft at the bottom touching the infinite circle, the bubbles on the right and left inside the flower must touch the Ankh's arms. We should be able to invoke a perfect flower on top of an Ankh, just like on the flower board. Wooden Ankh we can charge up with light if we invoke a tree pattern that ends curve 32 on the loop of the Ankh. Silver Ankh can be charged up with light in the full moon as we invoke the flower on top of the moon while looking through the loop of the Ankh. You can channel any pattern on the moon. Golden Ankh collects sunlight like a plate. We hold the Ankh center towards the sun and channel. The flower on top of a golden Ankh we can use any pattern, but they need to end curve 32 on the loop of the Ankh and start the infinite circle from the top. Else you invoke it in the air and life force invokes inside of you and does not charge the Ankh. With Ankh charged, we can amplify the life force and heal with greater potency. You invoke a tree pattern while holding your charged wooden Ankh and holding your hand on someone. You charge out the Ankh stored charge and release it into the person via yourself or you keep channeling tree pattern on top of a wooden ink and light bursts out so you can heal continuously. Tree pattern is not the strongest, so it takes most work to heal greatly with a wooden ankh, but the resource cost for an ankh is 110000 ratio. Chapter 12. Scepter is symbolic. It was not used as an instrument, but meant the higher training people underwent. They invoked the flower pattern so fast it felt like drawing a straight line skipping all steps and just curving or cross-curving infinity at 32, seemingly ignoring all the steps along the way. With dedication, it is achievable to invoke your patterns fast that it feels you draw a straight line, but it is curving along the way, 
Just the training allows to invoke it subconsciously at ease. Chapter 13 Dark Matter and Dark Energy The cosmos is fast each moment in time that skips forward. It already went back to the beginning of time and back to now to skip that moment further. Just how we go to sleep, the whole universe goes to sleep and wakes up each unit of time that skips forward. It goes over all recorded light. Your invocations are being recorded and looked at by the cosmos. As it wakes up, moving the time forward, it has already accepted or not accepted your invocation and you become the conscious extension of greater subconscious. Dark matter is the recorded light of the past that the cosmos is looking at as it goes back in time. When it looks at something, it adds weight, like your memory of yesterday comes as electricity in the now. It does it so fast it looks at enough past at the seemingly same time that it adds extra gravity around everything. Dark matter radiates off everything in all directions and goes towards the infinite edge of cosmos. It has a ramp-up time before it goes. Infinity, so that ramp-up distance is expressed as gravitational lensing, after which further the past matter went infinite. And when cosmos activates it by looking at it, it is no longer near the source. Dark energy is this on-off gravity that is produced by looking at a past memory. Cosmos looks in, the past further and further from the source, then comes back, but back it stops that matter that emitted it. While going back to infinite cosmos, it has nothing stopping it, so it can pull a bit. Also at the Big Bang, there was a pulse of gravity where it was not at peak, so when cosmos breathes that segment of time, it activates less gravity than it activates now. So there is a vibrating wave of gravity, and each moment, more matter is eaten by black holes. So less dark matter is generated, and less of the recent past is activated again, reducing the gravity. So it turns on and off the gravity of past, and also it turns on different amounts, which produces ramping push-pull. With these physics in mind, we can use consciousness to imprint messages to the cosmos to breathe in and come back to us the true manifestation. Language of the cosmos, the imagination. We can use this ability to imagine symbols like hieroglyphics in vivid three days. We add to the symbol conscious intention what we want to use it for. And thirdly, we stir up the symbol with feeling. Example, an owl imagined in vivid three days. We add intention, knowledge, wisdom, want to learn, but not in words. Behind our words is wiring that talks the language the universe understands. Then we add the emotion, desperation, curiosity, or other. Together we have a package of three in one an owl, knowledge, desperation. This three days package is placed so it is facing away from us. Then we imagine it flying away and getting smaller. This way the message is imprinted in dark matter as a communion with cosmos. You sent it out for it specifically. Now the cosmos breathes dark matter with your message and the greater subconscious picks it up. But it is only one character, the owl. You need to package more symbols in your message and can complete a whole sentence, and the cosmos will handle it like a request. It will decipher your message as light coming at it, and depending how good you waved it out, it will manifest your request. You will download knowledge straight from the source. Events will unfold in your life to manifest your answer from the cosmos. Spamming your message can achieve a better result where each time you send it, your wave is different even if you tried the three package of symbol, intention, and feeling the same. You are talking in waves, but like flower patterns, changing it just a bit produces wildly different result. Try owl symbol and add more symbols after it. Example, you want to learn more about the flower of life. Spam the cosmos with messages. Owl plus knowledge plus curious send it outwards away. Immediately add the next symbol, imagine a vivid. Flower of life, add intention of learn. Teach then a feeling of pain, hurt. Send it outwards, flying away from you. Or now you have sent a request for wisdom, flower of life, you're in pain. You talk in simple terms of bad dog, good dog for it to be clearer to the cosmos. Humans made language up on top of the language that is pre-built in us, which universe understands. Downloads are not instant, but uploads are. To download, the cosmos needs to shift lots of pieces, and that takes time. And in time, you will download depending how good were your messages.
you'd wish you could just ask normally for human convenience. Even though your words are recorded in dark matter too, the cosmos ignores what they mean, but the feeling and intention behind them, it understands. But your words are not targeted and set up as a message for cosmos. So it does not pick it up like that even if you shouted your throat off. Use your God-given imagination.